The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. And is for the World Heavyweight Championship. A Samoan bulldozer is on the warpath. We may be about to see a fight or a one-sided mauling. Umaga went undefeated in WWE for over a half a year. Yeah, during that time, Umaga earned victories over the likes of Kane, John Cena, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H. Unmatched savagery inside the ring from bell to bell from Umaga. Umaga is on a mission here tonight. Complete obliteration of anyone else in the ring. Creatures of the night rejoice. The dead man has returned. The aura of The Undertaker is one that always intimidates. Long, harrowing walk to the ring by the Phenom. The personification of evil. Such an ominous and chilling aura. When The Undertaker comes to town. Let's go. Let's go. This is always his stage. It's always his yard. And if you're his opponent, you know the end is near. Great striking and MMA skills. The reckoning has just arrived. I'm going to say his opponent made a big mistake by just showing up tonight. The dead man's opponent is about to fight for his life. Yeah, the dead man loves to dish out punishment. And I'm sure tonight will be no different. This World Heavyweight Championship has been all about big-time fights, big-time work ethic. This match should be something else.
Guys, this one has that big fight feel tonight with the World Heavyweight Championship being contested for. Yeah, Michael, and that's exactly what this title stands for. Challenging for it is one of the most demanding situations a superstar can find themselves in. And defending it is even a greater challenge. Yeah, Byron, but I think these men are more than up for the challenge. Gotta look out for that right hook. Placing them into the corner. Best pure striker in the history of WWE. So ruthless. more of this. Undertaker is just doing whatever he wants now. And it seems like you have to be at least a little sadistic to be victorious in an ODQ match. Oh, come on, Cole. It's not about being sadistic. It's about being smart. There's no safety net and no disqualification match, and that's a big factor in succeeding. There's nothing sadistic about it. DDT by The Undertaker. Oof. Good punch. Nasty. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. All the way up. Sidewalk slam delivered. Just look at the methodical attacks of The Undertaker. Yeah, somehow Umaga has to turn the tide. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Puts him on the table. What does he have in mind? We're about to fight. Oh, you know what's coming now? Someone please stop this. Boom, stone pile driver. Crashing through the announce desk. Absolutely no regard for anyone's well-being. Not even their own. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. And he's going with the great equalizer here, the steel chair. Oh, my God. Umaga is in a distressing spot. The Undertaker is making a statement. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. I don't care who you are. You can't take consecutive attacks like that without it affecting you. Look at this. Boom. Oh, nice. Umaga sidesteps that. And gets tossed back into the mat. That unraveled on Umaga. Undertaker showcasing his merciless ways. Umaga has to find a way to turn things around. Last ride. That is the uniqueness of the Undertaker. The Undertaker with a vintage tombstone. Looks like the champ is going to retain. <laughs> Saw it coming and went for the defensive headbutt. He's been placed in the corner now. I don't know if Omaga can withstand much more of this. The Undertaker cannot be stopped. Solid punch. Ooh, body shot. A right to the gut. The dead man, the best pure striker in the game, reminding his opponent why. Get out of there. Face wash. Really just laying it in. Oof. Counter from Umaga. He's looking to get back in this. Yeah, but Umaga needs to maintain that offense now. These superstars' bodies must be racked with excruciating pain. This is the truth. Popped up. No way. Yes way. What power. Two. 
Tombstone. But champions need to finish the job. Undertaker headed top rope from the top. Whoa, what a landing. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. Those gut punch. Nasty. The dead man is now taking command. Yes. This is taking things way too far. Don't do it. Tombstone through the table. It's a massacre out here. That table is broken. They are broken. Challengers survived that by the skin of their teeth and don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now And guys we're seeing one of those rare opponents that can take everything the Undertaker dishes out Let's see if the dead man can put that final nail in the coffin You can feel the WWE Universe reverberating off every corner in this building Ooh, A direct headshot just sickening. Momentum is running away from Umaga. And nothing can stop the dead man. He's really slowly getting up. Ooh, man. Yeah. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. Sit straight to the barricade. Oh, saw it coming. Now Umaga looking for some momentum. Umaga showing he can't be trifled with for too long. I can hardly hear myself think. They're bringing the house down tonight. This is unbelievable. This is taking things way too far. Don't do it. You turn to pile driver. The champ will stay champ. Look at for the Keeps the title. Here is your winner, and still the world heavyweight champion, the Undertaker. What a win for the champ as he retains the title. He just cemented his title reign with a gutsy performance. Now this is one dude with attitude. Big Daddy Cool is in the building. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Dudes with Attitude from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 317 pounds. Big Daddy Cool, Diesel. You want to talk superstars on the cusp of greatness? then look no further than Diesel. Right. The big man's on the come up, no doubt about it. If you're a betting man, you'd be wise to bet it all on Big Daddy Cool. We're talking about seven feet, 300 pounds of pure trouble. Bray Wyatt has given himself over to the Fiend. One of the most malicious, venomous, bizarre superstars in WWE history.
Ask anyone who has had the misfortune of coming into contact with The Fiend. It is an experience that will change your life forever. And certainly not for the better. I know his hands say hurt and heal, but The Fiend seems to focus more on the hurting. Where The Fiend goes, suffering follows. This frightening monster is ready to devour anyone who stands in his way. An eerie supernatural force, and at times seems totally unstoppable. Good luck to his opponent. The Fiend is unlike anyone or anything we've ever seen before. The one and only Diesel inside the ring. This is a man with seemingly unshakable confidence. That confidence is what Big Daddy Cool is all about, Cole. He truly believes there isn't a man alive who can stand up to him. And given his size, quickness, and muscle, he just might be right. Diesel's certainly an impressive athlete. Yeah, that's all well and good, but how much does any of that really matter to the Fiend? All he cares about is destruction, carnage, oh, and don't forget terror. He's indiscriminate when it comes to all those things. Big boot! And it looked like his opponent managed to roadblock Diesel there. The Fiend inflicting equal measures of suffering and fear with that one. There may be no one more sick and sadistic than The Fiend. How does that pension for pain factor into his plans tonight? Oh, I'm sure The Fiend has plenty of depraved attacks dreamed up. And they don't just hurt the body, they'll hurt your willpower too. From the top! He paid for that one! Oh man, big time! Counters that. Look out! Chop bomb! And Diesel reverses it. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh my, says this could do it! A kick out before the referee can get to one. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Diesel is countered. There's press! And the piston-like right hands! There's press! Hammer it away! I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. The sheer force of that landing was probably enough to fracture a few bones. Cinch things there. I don't understand the choice to stop the pin count. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Oh, attacked in the midsection. His defenses have fallen, and soon he may too. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. We might be seeing what it takes to stop a diesel truck. Byron, go play speed bump. Oh, planted. Kick to the gut. Ooh, and a reversal. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. And he's able to counter.
A counter by the Fiend. Sister Abigail! Good night. That's what happens when you let the Fiend in. You seal your own doom. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. An extreme amount of... No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. this down as a loss for Diesel. The big man Diesel laid low, unable to just steamroll the competition in this one. Here comes the ever unpredictable and the always explosive Cactus Jack. The following is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Weighing in at 287 pounds, Cactus Jack. Cactus Jack, an individual always dreaming up innovative ways to put himself in harm's way. I am honestly scared to think about what goes on in the mind of Cactus Jack. The most disturbing thing about Cactus Jack is that there is no limit to his pain threshold or his will to win. And that's what makes Cactus Jack such a dangerous competitor. Gentlemen, the Million Dollar Man is living, breathing proof. Greed is good. From Palm Beach, Florida, weighing in at 260 pounds, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. I'll be on high alert because the results of this match might be This will possibly be a career-altering match for these competitors. Yeah, you are met with so many dangers in this intimidating structure. I'm not sure if these superstars are fully aware of the risks this cage presents to their livelihoods. Absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Stumps. You got to wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Oh, ouch. When it comes to the steel cage, some would call escape the coward's way out. Some members of the WWE Universe even wish to do away with the escape rule altogether. What do you think, Corey? I think I'm in favor of whatever leads to a quick win without taking too much damage. If that means escaping, then I call it working smarter, not harder. Sorry, WWE Universe. Cactus 
Cactus Jack has it locked in. Brutalizing his opponent with a mandible claw. Cactus Jack is taking risks and they are paying off big time. Wreaking some serious havoc on his opponent. And Cactus expected that. Spiked. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Cactus Jack may be a few screws short of the tool shed, but he knows how to dish out a steady stream of pain. Incredible power slam. And now he's looking to advance up the cage wall. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. Oh, 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 that'll cave your chest in. situation that Ted DiBiase can't buy his way out of. No such situation exists, Byron. Bio driver spiked him. That gets reversed on DiBiase. Sent into the corner. Oof. Cactus Jack. Oh, no. And, uh-oh. I think DiBiase might have got cut there. Cactus Jack looking for the... Delivers the butterfly DDT. Jack might have this wrapped up. There's two. Got to wonder what his strategy is here, Cole. Back is Jack, has him hooked. Feels like it's over for DBSC. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Cactus Jack. And somehow, some way, we have a winner. But they are feeling the effect. The master of the Singapore cane has arrived. The following is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, weighing in at 240 pounds, the Wherever the Sandman goes, the ECW faithful will follow. Yeah, the Sandman is a hazard to opponents' well-being, sometimes even to his own. But he defends the honor of ECW with every breath and every swing. A former ECW tag team champion and world champion, Sandman's name is engraved in the rafters at the ECW Arena.
comes the Mastodon. And his opponent from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 450 pounds, the man they call Vader. There's no telling what a competitor is capable of when they're battling under extreme rules. Oh, make no mistake about it. This match is high stakes, high risk, and high reward. A mistake here can take years off your career. And it's impossible to predict what kind of danger awaits because everything and anything is legal here, gentlemen. It feels disrespectful. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. And guys, this is no kendo stick. The Sandman has unleashed the Singapore cane. Ooh, stiff punch. Slugging it out, toe to toe now. The fight is on, and it's furious. Just teeing off with that fight for everybody. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. What a chop! Oh, no. That'll light up your chest. Corey, what's your best shot at winning in a no disqualification match? You lean into the stipulation and leave no stone unturned. Use everything at your disposal to get the win. Otherwise, what's the point? And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Ooh! Big shot taken. That one's gonna leave a well. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. So many dangerous attacks, one after the other, making it difficult to regain any composure. And what's he looking for here? I don't care what they say, nothing good ever comes from getting the tables. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Just relentless. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Vicious right forearm. Oh, down by the DDT. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. And he's able to reverse. On, Got him set up for something on the table. Clearly nobody home, or else he'd get out of there. From the heavens. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Teen off. Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. Drop kick. Beautiful. Brings down the hammer to turn the tide. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. The Sandman setting himself up top. Up. Uh, Like a guillotine. Leg drop from the ropes. Attempting high risk move after high risk move at a breakneck pace. Drop kick hits the mark. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, right to the throat. This is it. Strong kick out late into the match. It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one count at this point. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Push. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Yeah, this is not good. 
You don't say, Saxton. Oh, tracking the kendo stick across the head. And he's got the hardwood in hand, and you have to imagine a sinister plan for what comes next. Re-entering the ring now. He's setting this table up, and guys, someone's about to have a really bad night. He went right into that turnbuckle. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Bulldog! Delivered with force. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. Big time move coming up. Sandman making the climb to the top rope. Are you kidding? Through the table. Through the table. Just an absolute eruption of the table. Oh, the Sandman spins around a couple of times. Making his opponent wait on the final driver. Can that finish Vader? For the win. Two. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. He's in total disbelief. That did not finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. Uh-oh, Sandman. Pile driver. Is it enough? Is it enough for the Sandman? The cover. Sandman picks up the W. Here is your winner, the Vader unable to secure victory tonight. Time was up for Vader. The Mastodon just couldn't find the way to the win here. You guys ready? The Heartbreak Kid! The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing D-Generation X. From San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a reason that this man's nickname is Mr. Wrestle. Mania, one of the greatest performers in the history of WWE. One of the most terrifying superstars ever. Terrifying power, terrifying size, and terrifying malice. And the same haircut as you, Saxton. Hey. That's terrifying. I don't know what you're talking about. And his opponent from the pits of hell, weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! What a terrifying sight to behold. What a frightening presence. The evil inside this man. Matched by the frightening amount of destruction that Kane is capable of. A multi-time champion. He's dominated WWE for many, many years. And they don't call him the showstopper for nothing. Shawn Michaels is about to do what he does best, people, so you better take note. Yeah, when Michaels steps into the ring, you just know you're about to see something special unfold. Has to be wary of Kane, though, because this is a monster who's proven time and time again that he is just as dangerous mentally as he is physically. 
Yeah, you don't want to be the target of Kane's sadistic mind games. It's bad enough having a seven foot tall, 300 pound monster charging at you in the ring. It's even worse to have him wanting to systematically destroy you. Oof. Oh, back elbow. It's hard to pick just one thing that has made Shawn Michaels so successful over the years. That's just it, Cole. HBK is one of the most well-rounded superstars the WWE Universe has ever seen. He possesses exceptional speed, strength, athleticism, and charisma. He uses all of that and more in each and every match, and that's what makes him the showstopper. And Michael tattoos him with a flying forearm. The Heartbreak Kid is going full throttle right. Take off. Splash! for the second rope. Driving down. Takes another trip to the skies, and it pays off once again. Elbow drop. Piercing. Ooh, strikes with a kick. Kane prevents the attack from connecting. Chop. Ooh, DDT delivered. the counter HBK. Yeah. Impressive reversal from Michaels. Side set on the top rope. High risk. Through the air and connects. Just crashing down with high impact. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Oh. music! Are you kidding me? Will Kane get back up? Cover! Oh, kicks out, kicks out! Talk about inhuman. No idea how Kane was able to kick out of that. The big red monster is still in this. Swing chain music out of nowhere! Michaels with the exclamation point. And here's Shawn Michaels now in the corner, tuning up the band. Look at this sweet chain music. Ducking out of trouble. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. We have seen such a physical match from these combatants, and the wear and tear is starting to show. And now's the time where the smartest competitor needs to take to the sky. Diving for Nicko Shuffle! That was terrible, Byron. Boom! The Big Red Machine is now under heavy pressure. Michael's using everything he has right now. Speed, strength, athleticism, and charisma has given HBK the advantage. Oh, oh what a kick. Ooh, devastating kick. Ooh, ah, kick. Nasty kick. And that was a well-executed attack. He moved, but can he capitalize? Oh, sweet chin music. That one has to end this. HBK tuning up the band. Backhand on the sweet chin music. The HBK cover. got all of it. And this one is over. Here is your winner, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Kane finding himself somewhat on the bottom of the food chain after this loss. HBK just taking care of business, doing what he does. And what he does is win big.
Get ready for the whole damn show. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, the Hardcore Champion, Rob Van Dam. From ECW standout to WWE legend, one of the most unique athletes sports entertainment has ever known. Hey, I'm trying to be unbiased here, but I have to admit, I'm rooting for Wade. Cole, I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to bet against the creator of bad news. And his opponent, from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, Wade Barrett! This man is a multiple-time Intercontinental Champion and a King of the Ring winner. And the Barrett Barrage isn't even close to finished. Wade's confidence is at a real high because he knows he's still got it. Has the bare knuckle boxer and one of my favorite broadcast partners, Wade Barrett, ready for a fight. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that, Cole. While Barrett is a master in the ring, I don't think he holds a candle to me behind the desk. No, well, looking for us, we're about to see the master enact his craft. And on the other side stands Rob Van Dam. No one elevates their game quite like RVD. No one can dispute that, Byron. RVD will kick your head clean off your shoulders. So his opponent has that going for him. Oh, man, right on the mark. Opponent. Rob Van Dam is one of the most unpredictable superstars we've ever seen, Corey. What's your game plan going into a fight with RVD? While RVD's a great striker, high flying is obviously his forte. If you can keep him from the top rope, or better yet, ground him, you've tilted the table in your favor. And will this be it? And easily kicks out of the count. It is going to take a lot more to keep him down. Ooh, clothesline delivered. The height on the moonsault. Why not look like a million bucks when hitting something that effective? Can't quite get him there. Boom! Delivers the knee. Boom! Oh, I love this. This is vintage. Rolling thunder. RVD hitting that move seemingly out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting that, and I sure know the opposition wasn't either. RVD! Let's him out. Big time spot kick right on point. RVD! Five star frog splash! RVD was right on target. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner. Tonight's winner is Rob Van Dam. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship.
The man is known simply as the excellence of execution. I gotta say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call a match featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxton. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being subpar. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. Here we go, guys. The champ comes into his title defense incredibly competent, Corey. And with good reason, Cole. When you're the champ, you don't have to worry about winning. You just have to make sure you don't lose. That is the champion's advantage. Well, his technical prowess is about... Introducing the challenger from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 275 pounds, the ECW World Heavyweight. Champion Bill Goldberg. Social media is buzzing as it always is when this title is defended. Some have called this superstar a bit too intense, and as we can already see from the look in his eyes, there's a reason why. In this business, intensity often breeds success, and he's well aware of that. He's hoping that focus and drive really propel him to success. But fighting with every maple leaf behind him is the hitman. Brett's about to do a mental and physical dissection until there's nothing but scraps left of the competition. If you ask me, Brett has gone from a winner to a whiner. He's told himself he has an axe to grind and is taking it out on anyone who goes up against him. Oh, he knew what was coming. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Choke slam? Oh, no. All the way up. Oh, into a spine buster. Crippling. And, Corey, what's the best way to counter a technical master like Bret Hart? Simply put, you have to have done your homework. But also, you have to think on your feet. Brett is going to surprise you at some point. So you have to sort of make sure you're in a position to come up with some kind of answer. Oh, ruthless striking. Oh, look at this. Arm wrench. Greg Lariat with the arm wrench. Very nice. Drop kick. Great athleticism. 
Retaliation from the Hitman. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Let's go, let's go. The slam. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Flying. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. A completely ill-advised decision. Likely going to pay for it in the rest of this match. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Catches the kick. Dragon screw. Sweep them right off their feet. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Vicious right forearm. Hitman never saw that coming. Shoulder tackle. There you go, Cole. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Talk about execution. Brett is certainly showing us. Uh oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the. Driven down with a jackhammer. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Near fall. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Well, let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gasp? Big move, but it's still an to end this. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Uh-oh, this is gonna be nasty. There's the power into the jackhammer. A championship level move. Two count. And the champ stands tall once again. Here's your winner. And still, the Bill Goldberg. Good job by our champion holding on to that title. He's definitely. Here comes the Glamazon, and she is always ready for war. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Buffalo, New York. The Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. A woman who possesses game-changing power and ferocity as advertised. Yeah, but looking for more than a victory, looking to prove that she is the one and only Glamazon. Well, here's the beauty in the brains behind the Miz. And from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Ma Oh, what a blessed evening it has already become. We are staring at elegance personified. Yeah, well, there's nothing elegant about her underhandedness. I don't trust Maurice at all. You wouldn't know what to do with a woman like Maurice, Saxton. I wouldn't want to do anything with a woman like Maurice, Corey. Standing atop the mountain that is the women's division, the Glamazon is ready not just for a fight, but for an all-out battle. I would say that it's lonely at the top, Corey, but something tells me Beth Phoenix is perfectly comfortable being a one-woman wrecking crew. And across the ring from her is the lovely Maurice. 
But remember, just because Marie stars in her own reality TV show and appreciates life as one half of the It couple, that doesn't mean she's lost a step in the ring. Far from it, even. Corey, I've got to know, how exactly does one overcome the unique skill set that Beth Phoenix brings to the table? Matching Phoenix's power is impossible, so go with the tried and true tactic. Oh, no, there could be trouble lurking for her with this submission maneuver. Abdominal stretch. I'm not sure she can escape by this. And yes, she does. Turns the tides. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. And Maurice might have underestimated her opponent. And Beth Phoenix using that innovative style to get the upper hand. And Beth with a counter. She's pushed into the corner. Not where you want to be right now. You know what, guys? I was afraid it was going to get to this point. Absolutely soul-crushing impact from up high. Beth climbs. What's on her mind? Yeah, that won't separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, what a kick. Quick sidestep by Maurice. Close line. So ruthless. Beth Phoenix displaying that power. Look at her opponent. And she's able to make it to the ropes to force the break. Pivotal opportunity there. Just got denied by the rope break. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Perched up top. She saw that one coming. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Leg drop from the ropes. The end is looming now. This is a very dangerous situation now. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh man, looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Stomping down. Oh my goodness, merciless move, bashing your opponent's head like that. Ooh, stinging kick. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Beth Phoenix, the powerhouse, hoists her up. Land slam! Beth could take this one. Lining it up. Gonna cut him in half. Looking for the victory! Two! Oh, and a two count to kick out again. This match is getting pushed beyond the normal limits. Phoenix looking highly motivated right now. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. Maurice's hopes are waiting. Maurice. The awesome power of the Glamazon. The Glam Slam. And that could keep Maurice down. Two. It's over. All in a nice work. Maurice unable to get the win here in this one. The game. 
has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Evolution from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds. Triple H! Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow. From a blue blood, to a degenerate, to a multiple-time WWE Champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. Weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero! And without question, one of the most pivotal superstars in the history of our industry. Now you're right, Byron. A true hero on both sides of the Monday Night Wars. From WCW Cruiserweight Innovator to WWE Champion and Hall of Famer. Let's talk about Eddie Guerrero. Eddie's a world-class athlete who's always ready to throw hands whether the bell rings or not. Latino Heat seen it all in sports entertainment and knows how to handle himself in every situation. Eddie can rock you with power moves and make you dizzy trying to keep up with his quickness. Eddie has the ability to dictate the pace of a match from bell to bell and can take you off your game immediately. He's about to face a test like he's never had before in the form of Triple H. Not only is Triple H physically strong, and not only is he in peak condition, this is a man who can worm his way into your head and beat you as badly mentally as he does physically. He is ruthless. That's why they call him the Cerebral Assassin. Let's talk about this matchup, Corey. If you're Eddie Guerrero, what do you have to do to leave here victorious? Eddie Guerrero must attack from the air. Eddie needs to utilize his speed and agility to maintain a vertical base. Land your offense, keep it moving. And that attack could have Triple H questioning whether he can still hang. Innovative display by Guerrero. Oh, oh man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Was ready for that. And he sends him into the corner. He manages to escape it. Triple verticals. Spin those hips, Eddie. There's number two. And here comes three amigos. Eddie there showing off his in-ring acumen. Veteran expertise putting him in perfect position to pull that off. Look at the high frog splash does it. This is Eddie's chance to kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. Triple H got the shoulder up in the nick of time. Incredible awareness to remain in this matchup. And we know Eddie must be feeling desperate right now, unsure of how much more he needs to do. And that definitely made solid impact. A non-stop assault from Guerrero here. This is Eddie Guerrero creating his own opportunities with high-risk attacks. Watch out, Latino Heat is on fire. DDT! Eddie taking a step back and measuring his opponent. <laughs> Reversal from the game. Triple H reversing the momentum on him. Maybe he's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Brought down with a DDT. Springboard. 
Trifecta, three amigos. Eddie ascending to the top. Look at the high frog splash. End of the line for the game. Look at the high frog splash. One more time throwing the head. Major, major win. That'll change his career. Here is your winner, Eddie Guerrero. So it's Triple H who comes out on the losing end here. Eddie Guerrero using every ounce of his ability to secure the victory here. Winning by any means necessary.